Hello family, welcome to Set for Life, where we live by design, not by default. I'm your host, Wealth Advisor, Pastor George Thompson. I'll be guiding you on a journey of health and wealth in four levels, spiritual, physical, mental, and financial. Hey, if you're watching this, you made it out of 2021. Now it's time to reset and achieve your goals in 2022. It's time to be Set for Life. As we're setting the tone for the new year, you might notice a little something different around here. This is not my house. I've been shooting for over 18 months at my own house, and I had to look side to side to make sure one of my kids just didn't run by, but they're not because you want to know why? I'm right here live at Studio 1A right here at Faithful Central. So we're resetting the show set for life. So first of all, let me tell you a little bit about myself and my vision for the show. So I started teaching finance in churches about 20 years ago. And I actually said, in one night, I'm gonna show you how to become financially free and a millionaire in one night and do it God's way. And I said, okay, you take your paycheck, you start investing in here, here, and here. And then someone raised their hand and said, but wait a minute, I'm in debt. And I said, okay, it's gonna take two nights. Then someone else raised their hand, but wait a minute, I have a credit issues. I said, okay, it's going to take three nights. And then I actually developed what was called a workbook where I sh it was called Millionaires in Training, where I showed you how to budget, how to get out of debt, how to save money, and how to invest, and how to have your credit cleaned up. I taught and used that book for over 15 years, and I started teaching people how to be financially successful. Then now I've written about five books in that area of finance, which the most recent ones are The Wealth Cycle, and then also set for life, which I'll be talking to you about later. But during that journey, one of the things that happened was I actually became a financial advisor. So as a financial advisor, I also was able to help people with investments and show you how to build wealth God's way. Then I started teaching classes at Faithful Central, and they were called How To Tuesdays, where every Tuesday I would show you a life practical skill of how to achieve a goal. And I'm back in the day, if you guys remember, it was how to make a meal for five people under $25, how to get your child into acting, how to, and they were just practical, and there's still classes we teach to this day. One class was how to do good, you know, G-O-O-D, get out of debt. And then we did ones also in investing as well. Then we had another class, a series we started, called Solution Saturdays. That's where we want to give you a solution to your problem. In other words, it's like we would kind of pick a lock that you were locked up at financially and then give you solutions to that. But what we really want to always teach, and I still to this day want to do, is teach you practical skills of life to be successful. Let me break this down for you. The Bible says a good person leaves an inheritance for his children's children. So in order to leave a generational wealth, you have to pass two things. The first is money, which everyone knows. But if you pass money without wisdom, I didn't say knowledge. I said wisdom. It doesn't do any good. When we say wisdom, that's experience knowledge. That's what we're teaching and we're modeling things to you. That's why you saw our series last year. We taught real estate. We showed you how to invest, how to do it. And then we always show you from a biblical perspective. But then it's also practical steps that you can do. I share best practices. I answer also your questions, and then we explore new topics. When I say wealth building, you understand, we do your health and we do your wealth. So as we welcome you into 2022, let's look at some of the challenges that we had over the past year. First of all, COVID. If you guys remember, am I the only one? I thought COVID was supposed to last a month, and then we're all supposed to wear a mask and everything would go away. Now we had, there's COVID, there's variants, there's different things, but there's, there's something we have to learn. We have to learn how we're going to personally handle COVID. 
what our family's going to do about it, and then what we're going to do business-wise. Second is financial hardships. We had a series, we talked something about how we're going to pivot and how we're going to manage financially. So we can't just do the same. We actually don't want to just survive during this. We want to show you how to thrive during this. And then you also have the issues with job losses, but I want to use the word transitions, job transitions, and then also, as you know, social justice. Those are all topics that we also covered. But regardless of the situation, always know that God is in control. And I believe we're going to have an awesome year and the best is yet to come. As many of you may know, I'm your pastor of stewardship, finance, and community engagement here at Faithful Central Bible Church. And my role and my purpose in life is to oversee people and help them in four specific areas. Please hold up four fingers. The first is time. There's 86,400 seconds in a day. How well you manage that will dictate how well you do in life. It's like a bank. You do not get a refund on time at any day. All right, the second, the first is time. The second is talent. You are blessed with a skill. You have spiritual gifts. So we walk through the talent that God has blessed you with. And the third is temple. Your temple is your body. Take care of your temple. Amen. And then fourth is treasure. You will hear a lot about this. Treasure is how well you manage your finances. You have stewardship of all four of those areas. And we want to help you manage that and also be able to attain that all God has for you. Family, it's time to reset. That means let's look at resetting on what we're going to do physically. You know, hey, let's set up our physical goals. What are we going to start doing physically? Also, let's look at resetting mentally. When we talked about mental health last year, we're talking about self-care. Last year, how'd you do in the area of self-care? Let's look at what we're going to be doing this year. Also, resetting financially. So how are we going to manage our plans that we're going to start walking you through? What are we going to do in the area of income financially? What are we going to do in the areas of debt financially? What are we going to do in the areas of investing? Whether it's real estate, whether it's also investments, retirement, and then also let's look at how we're going to reset spiritually. That means our relationship with God. Let's decide how we're going to reset. And when we say reset, we're going to go to a higher level. I got four more areas for you. So now let's look at how we're going to do in the area of mind, mission, motor, and money. I'll repeat them to you again. Mind, mission, motor, and money. First of all, when we say mind, I know all of you guys that are, that are getting ready to type on here that already read my book. Mind stands for money, intelligence, need, and discipline. So that's an acronym to show you how we're going to use that. Like in other words, like how are we going to use our money intelligently? Then also we have to find out what your why is. There's a need that you want to be successful. Like in other words, when we start talking about diet, there's got to be a need for you to want to lose weight or, or live healthy. I have that because I want to live a lot healthier for my children so I can still be able to play certain sports, starting with basketball, and be able to beat them. And then the D stands for discipline. We got to be disciplined in what we're doing. Sometimes uh, someone told me the other day, they said, George, you're a motivational speaker. Not trying to be a motivational speaker. I'm trying to help you achieve what you want. Your motivation needs to come from you. That's where that end need comes from. So everybody say, you need and use your mind. Let's use our minds. Second is mission. What is our mission in life? We need to have your own personal mission statement, and you want to have that. We're also going to be doing a series where you're going to have this for your family, a mission statement. And quite simply, the mission statement is what you're all about and what's your why. And then third, we're going to go over motor. Motor is how you're going to do it. That's the driving. That's the motor part. So we're going to find out how we're going to be able to do that to motivate you to continue for you to do that. And also that deals in the area of health and then also money. How we're going to utilize money to achieve what God has for you. So we're going to make sure that we're walking through that with you. So it's mind, mission, motor, and money. Come on, family. Let's reset. Last year, we had some amazing episodes. There was a time we had the best of, 
and I couldn't even find out what the best of because I liked them all. We had some topics last year. First of all, balancing life during the pandemic. We talked about physical health and mental health, and we went through that. Also, we did cryptocurrencies. We had cryptocurrency conversations. We talked all about that technology. Then we had real estate. I'm going to say real estate. We talked about real estate, about how to manage and do things for something called eviction moratorium. We talked all the way through that and then how to buy, rent, and sell during a pandemic. And then we went over investments, whether it was stocks, bonds, mutual funds, what to do with your 401k, dealing with market volatility. And then we ran our entrepreneurship strategies where we started teaching and we brought entrepreneurs in. We brought an entrepreneur in that was under 16 years old and she was doing so much business. And then we taught all of our principles about building business back better. If, if you're interested in watching or re-watching our past episodes, you can simply go to Faithful Central's YouTube channel and you want to go to a Set for Life playlist. Or you can see all the episodes by going to my website at georgebthompson.com. Sign in and watch them and you'll be blessed. Now that was a recap of what happened last year. Let me tell you what you can expect from us in 2022 specifically. Number one is a commentary and an insight from me, as well as subject matter experts that we're gonna walk you through the process and give you the process of how you're gonna achieve success. Second is an open forum where you can ask me questions and I'll provide all the answers for you. Number three, also we're gonna have a community of like-minded individuals that you can learn from them as well and know that we're in this and doing this together. Also, thank you for your emails. We receive so many also in the area of you achieving success. I got several that I was so excited about. There were several that went out and bought stock for your kids, grandkids, nieces, nephews. You guys remember I told you, buy stock for your kids, not all these toys and different things like that. So many of you did that. We got also testimonies about people buying houses, about you renting properties, and about building generational wealth from our generational wealth series. I wanna thank you for all that you did. Family, next week our reset starts. I'll be sitting down with the regional director of the Securities and Exchange Commission for the LA branch. Her name is Michelle Lane. We're going to be discussing investment scams. I'm sorry, I'm getting excited. You see my shoulders all in it. The reason why is this. If you look at building generational wealth and doing things, one of the ways that people lose money is the money is scammed from them. So I want you to come and learn, but also I want you to invite your family members as well. I'm gonna talk about that and everything that's going on also with the economy and jobs. And also we're gonna show you how to be extra careful out there because predators are out there and we're gonna show you how to be financially successful. Family is your pastor. I do not want anyone robbing us of our time, our money, or our happiness. So that's why we have this. I get calls and we find out things and I want to make sure that we're on the front and we get rid of this and nip this right in the bud. So I want you again to tune in and also have your family. Join us next Tuesday for Set for Life. You don't want to miss this episode. That's Tuesday night at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. We're going to be on YouTube, Facebook, and FCBC's website. And if you miss us, you can catch the replay on YouTube. So until next week, I'm Pastor George, and don't forget, we live by design, not by default. I'll see you next week.